Okay, it's time to start calling something in Tommy, and we're going to start with uh, something that you can do in Tomcat 2, and it's creating a servlet. A servlet is a JPEG class which may respond mostly to HTTP requests. Uh, to create a servlet, we should create a dynamic web project in Eclipse. So let's create it. We're going to call it, for example, hello wall. We must target uh, the runtime, in this case the Tommy we already uh, created in Eclipse. And I'm going to add uh, to the Tommy working set uh, this project, well this is optional. And then uh, we've got uh, a dynamic web project created, it has the typical uh, URL in Eclipse. So we can create here a package called com dot lore of the jars dot Tommy for example and now we can create a servlet hello world servlet okay we can remove some uh, method that we uh, don't use now this one for example Note that uh, we are using the web server annotation. This is an annotation that was added in servlet 3.0 specification and allows us to define servlets without having to uh, configure them into the web.xml. Here we can change the URL where the, um, the servlet is called. In this case, we're going to call hello, for example, and then here I've got in my uh, clipboard one code which returns hello world. So now to run this servlet, we only have to uh, run on server, choose the Tomcat, finish. And the servlet output is uh, rendered. So yeah, um, note that in this oh, note that in this example um, we've used web servlet annotation, but there is another uh, annotation that I have available since servlet three point zero specification. For example, we can use um, web filter for creating a, a filter. We can use um, web init param for setting uh, parameters, or we can use uh, web uh, listener to register a listener. So in next uh, video, we're going to start calling something that we cannot do in Tomcat, but I suggest that before you uh, see the next video you uh, create, for example, a web filter using this annotation.